In this section, we're going to talk about logarithmic runtime. It's represented using big O notation as log n. So big O log n. Um, but what does it look like in real life? So let's do an example. Let's say you are in a library and you have a stack of books. And these stands, books are sorted alphabetically. You have multiple rows, and each row you have books. And let's say that you, they are order, let's say this is the book A, B, C, D, E, E, H, just for instance. And let's say we are looking for the book Z. So what we do, we know is in this row, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to divide in half every time. So let's say, we just, uh, so let's say we take, say we take this one in the half, let's say D. So Z is, is to the left or to the left of D. So we know it's on this side, to the left, right side. So we know it should be any of these books, any. So what we are going to do, we are going to break in the middle again. We are going to check. So F is F um, larger than Z? It's not. So we know it should be to the left of this one. And then we check again if g is is bigger it's not so it should be, it must be this one or it doesn't exist on this row so in the in the check we, we check that it doesn't exist but you can see that it's very efficient we didn't have to go through each one of the books until we found Z, if any. So we just partition in half every time. And that's why it's given a logarithm log n. But let's do how it looks like in code. So this is called a binary search. And we're going to implement it. All right, let's now implement our linear search function. So we have an array. And then there is an element x that we are going to look for in the array. The first thing that we want to search is for the half index of the array. We want to divide the array every time in half. So you can see here, we divide in half, and then we go to the left or to the right side, and then half and half again. So we have to find this index. Also, it should be an integer. So we don't want to have an index that is 2.5 or something like that. So we have to convert it into the closest integer. Or just an integer at all will do. So the element in the middle will be the array. And the element that we want to take the half position. And now we just do the comparison. If the middle element is equal to x, we found it. And what do we want to return? We want to return the, the position, right? We want to return the, the index of the element. Then if the array is on the right side, let's call it ls for short but this is the same function and then what we do what we, want, we want only the the part that is on the left side so we are going to use a slice function and the starting point will be the half so that will give us the right side of the array only then we return we know if it's not in the right side then it's on the left side so this we do the same except this time we just return the left side 
which will be from position 0 to half. And this is a shortcut from half to the end of the array. Right? And there we have it. If it's not in any place, we can return. Yeah. So, this will find it. Then here. As you can see here, we have an array, right? And then we divide it in half. And then we have this array and we search for x. Is x on this side or is on this side? And then we divide this, this following array into in half every time until we have an integer, but always dividing it in an integer number and then when we are done we know if it's in the array or not so the function that tells you how many times you can divide something in half integers is log n so if this is n log 2 of n will tell you how many times you can divide it so this is why this is why this is the runtime of linear search because you're dividing half given by log log to log base two of n. Why this is why this is the runtime of linear search because you're dividing half given by log log to log base two of n. <laughs> 